Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are safe and doing well during this period of social distancing and quarantine. Like many of you, I am stuck at home trying to figure out what is it that I'm going to do to keep myself busy. And one of the things that I do to keep myself busy is that I go downstairs and visit the dumpster in my building. I actually, I visit here once a week. Yes, I do that just to see what people are actually dropping off and what people actually have in their homes. Today, what I did find was an old Ikea couch. From the looks of it, I think I can take this fabric out. And I thought, oh my gosh, look at all this fabric that I can work with. So I started stripping it away and within the couch, within the storage, I also came across a few other pieces of fabric including a black dress. It's like a shirt or a gown or uh, some sort of maxi dress. I think it's a dress. I'm assuming it's a dress. I don't know if it's a dress or not but I'm going to assume that it's a dress. And I thought Hmm, what can I make out of this dress? And so the other day, I was actually scrolling through some of my old travel photos, one particularly from Egypt, and I thought, as soon as I saw this dress, maybe I can make ancient Egyptian clothing out of it. So that's what we're gonna make out of this dress. And luckily, I have accessories from an old Halloween costume that I can probably use to complete this project. So let's get to it. So I'm not quite sure what it is. It could be an oversized shirt, but it looks like a dress because it kind of fits this way. But I've never worn a dress, so I don't know if it actually is a dress. First thing I need to do is to start marking where it is that I'm going to cut so that I have a top piece and a bottom piece. My belly button is right over here, so I think I'm going to do it right around here. It clearly is not marking. Chalk would come in handy at this point, but I don't have chalk. I can't seem to draw a line. Hmm. What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna cut this eyeballing it and hope for the best. So about half an inch below where my line is so that I have a bit of a seam. Here we go. Now I've got two pieces. One for the top, one for my bottom. Bottoms and tops. So now I've got all this fabric to work with for my skirt piece. Down at the bottom here, it already has a bit of a hem, so I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna sew up where it is that I cut up on top. And I think what I'm gonna do here is create some sort of wrap. Hmm. Gotta figure that out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Did I mention that I've never made ancient Egyptian clothing before? This was my first time putting something like this together and clearly I'm not sure where to start and how I'm going to execute it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half and then kind of like wrap it over on top of each other. The idea that I had for the bottom piece was to do some sort of wrap, like a shendit, a kilt-like garment worn in ancient Egypt. Kind of like this, or like this, but minus the muscles, and the oil, and oh my, I'm distracted. Where was I? Right, the bottom piece. Are we talking about bottoms again? I had to figure out how I wanted it to look and how to attach it to the top piece. So what I did is I opened it, folded it in half, and I'm going to cut a line that goes all the way down here. Kind of like a semicircle. We're just gonna cut it, eyeball it. So like this, and then we we'll fold it like this, so that they go like that onto each other. I think I know what I'm doing now. Once those semicircles were made, I then folded and pinned together the raw edges. I'm not quite sure what type of fabric this was. It was stretchy and sort of like a polyester nylon combination. Fun fact, ancient Egyptians did as little sewing as possible in most of their garments, and they also rarely dyed their fabrics and usually wore white, complete opposite of what I'm doing here. For the top piece, I'm just gonna do it very simple. Taking a, a shirt that I have and using that as a template over this one. Luckily, I found a pencil that was able to make marks on the material. Using the t-shirt as a pattern, I traced half an inch around it to give it a seam allowance. I then cut around the pattern and made sure to save the excess fabric to use for the sleeves. From there, I flipped the top inside out and sewed the sides together, leaving an opening for the armholes. So I'm gonna cut these sleeves off of the original piece of garment, and then I have to size it so that it fits here. So let's start cutting. I then used that same t-shirt as the pattern for the sleeves, sized them up, made my cut, repeat on the other sleeve, and made sure it lined up with the top. I then sewed in the bottom side to seal in the sleeves. So from here you're going to want to turn your shirt inside out, and then with your sleeves right side in, your shirt inside out, your sleeves are right side in, so they're the correct side on both sides, and then you just want to tuck your sleeves in and then pin it 
all around the opening like so. While I pin the sleeves onto the armholes, here's a random fun fact for you. Did you know that Cleopatra was not Egyptian? Although she was born in Alexandria, she was actually part of a long line of Greek Macedonians. Okay, back to sewing. Once the sleeves were pinned onto the armholes, I then sewed them in place. Now we're gonna pin this back on. I could just make a little skirt out of this on its own, but I want to piece it all together. I'm going to start pinning them as close to seam as possible. It's coming together slowly. And then with that, we just have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll pleat it. I don't know how to pleat though. Maybe I'll YouTube it. I guess this will work for now. Yeah, this should work for now. Now that I have an idea as to how I want the bottom to flow, I then repin some of the areas to prevent bunching from the excess fabric. I sort of did it in pleats, but because I didn't actually YouTube how to do pleats, I simply did a fold over fold technique. I don't even know if that's a thing. Pretty much just eyeballing it. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but we shall see. Not too worried. I don't stress about these things. Not at all. Once the bottom was fully pinned to the top, I then sewed it all the way around from the inside of the fabric. And luckily I still have these accessories that I had from a Halloween costume a while back. And I'm just gonna shorten some of them because they're a bit oversized for what they're supposed to be. And then we shall see the final piece. Because we're currently social distancing at the moment, and most doors are closed, I was very limited with the materials I had to work with. So with a few minor adjustments, these accessories came in quite handy. Here's another random fun fact for you. In ancient Egypt, men and women wore makeup. It was thought to have healing powers, plus it helped protect their skin from the sun. To complete the look, I'm gonna put some makeup on. Oh, where's the other piece? I got some makeup from Halloween. I've never put makeup on before, so I'm on YouTube right now trying to get a tutorial. All we're gonna be using here is a simple black eyeliner pencil. So for this first light look we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna start on the bottom lid and on the waterline. So 